few of you have asked me to do a video on diffusing, so I'm doing a video on diffusing. Hello YouTube fam, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, my name is Alyssa Marie and I'm so happy that you're here. I'm coming at you with a bare face, I just really didn't feel like putting makeup on today, so here we are. Just as the title says, we are going to be talking all about diffusing your curls today. I'm going to try and get a little bit detailed about it and tell you exactly what I use, why I use it, how I do it, like the whole nine yards. I do have like a special kind of technique that I like to do. It's nothing crazy, nothing complicated, but I do have a specific way that I go about doing it in order to get the kind of curls that I want. Let's get on into it. All right, so I am fresh out of my shower so you guys can see the exact process. So first, let me show you guys. This is the current diffuser that I use. This is what a diffuser looks like in general. So basically, these prong things allow the air to be evenly distributed throughout your curls so that it can be evenly dried. So my diffuser here, as I was showing you, is a Dyson diffuser. This is a $400 diffuser, but I'm not saying that you need this in order to diffuse your hair. I do love this. This was actually a recent gift from Mame. But again, I used to use like a $3 head attached to like a $50 blow dryer and that was it. It got the job done for me. I will say that the Dyson hair dryer, it dries a lot quicker and I kind of notice a little bit less frizz by using this as well. But again, not 100% necessary, so don't freak out. Don't feel like you need to go out and buy this because this is expensive. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start diffusing. My hair is literally drooping all over right now. So I'm gonna start and kind of just talk you guys through what I do. So the first step for me, you guys know that I usually kind of wear my hair on a side part lately. So I like to kind of get my side part all situated before I start diffusing at all while my hair is still soaking wet. So just gonna find my little natural part. It usually kind of falls itself. Alright, so this is it for me. This is kind of, again, like where my hair just kind of naturally falls. Now when I'm diffusing, I always make sure to use my diffuser on the lowest heat setting possible. That's just my preference. I don't like to go too crazy with heat in my hair at all. Y'all should already know that. You know me. While a lower heat setting may take a little bit longer, it's definitely better and more healthy for your curls. So I kind of like to start by diffusing the roots of my hair first, especially because I do have this side part going on. I kind of want my curls to dry in that way that they're falling so that I don't have to worry about it looking all crazy afterwards. So you may have seen other girls who do flip their hair over when they're diffusing. And as you can see, I'm not doing that. I'm kind of just staying upright. And the reason for this is because today I'm looking for more definition and slightly less volume. I find that when I flip my hair over, it's a crazy amount of volume. And now I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. That's just simply not what I'm going for in this video today. So once I feel like my roots have got enough attention, I am then just going around to diffuse the rest of my curls. I try and move the diffuser around frequently just so my curls get to dry a little bit more evenly. Again, just staying upright so my curls are staying in the right place, the right shape, exactly how I want it to dry. All right, so this is how my curls are looking so far. It's probably about maybe like 30, 25% dry. So I really only like to diffuse my curls until they stop dripping on me and then I prefer to kind of just air dry the rest of the way. The reason for that is because I feel like Diffusing can kind of shrink my hair up a lot because it really really encourages curl definition But it's almost like it's like too much and you don't want all of that shrinkage So I find that diffusing for a little bit until it stops dripping gets me the right amount of curl definition that I need And then by air drying it allows my curls just to drop just ever so slightly and then dry like in the most perfect way I don't know man. This is just my technique. It's what works for my curls and Yeah, this is how we do all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry just for a few minutes so you guys can get an idea of how it dries a little bit. And then I will be back to discuss my final thoughts. All right, so my hair is taking forever to dry fully just because I kind of plastered that bad boy with product so that this would last me throughout the week. But here is kind of the semi-finished products. Let's get a little close up. 
So as you guys can see, it's pretty defined. I always just love to diffuse a little bit and then air dry. To me, it's like the perfect combination of the two. And it's also great because the less heat is the better for your curls. I really hope you guys found this useful. If you did, you know what to do. Go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up. And also, please don't forget to subscribe. You can't just be here watching and not be subscribed. Like that just doesn't make any sense. And while you're hitting that subscribe button, as usual, two videos here for you to watch some more. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and for all your support. It truly means the most to me. I will catch you in the next one.